I get that ooh. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. What's good to YouTube? How's everyone doing? Welcome to the channel, or welcome back to yet another live reaction video. If you're new here for the first time, my name is TMR, and since you clicked on this video, you might as well subscribe to the YouTube channel, leave your comments down below, and enjoy this reaction video. What's good to YouTube? What's good, TMR gang? Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to the, yet another live reaction video. I'm your girl, TMR. Thank y'all so much for stopping what you were doing and meet me over in this damn break room, y'all. Oh, boy. All right. Um, Lord. Y'all see the title. Y'all see the damn thumbnail, okay? The Jacksons of Atlanta. Child. <laughs> Oh, Lord, clam mercy, y'all. The Jacksons of Atlanta, uh, I guess they're getting a divorce over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. Yes, sis, we doing a double today, honey. Okay, they getting their coins and child. You, <laughs> oh, you bet your bottom dollar. Tim, I'm going to get hers too, okay? So, um... If for all of y'all who may not know, uh, Ma and Pa Kettle over here, also known as the Jacksons of Atlanta, um, about an hour or so ago, my good sis from the break room started flooding my DMs with, sis, did you see this? Did you see this? So apparently, y'all, Mahogany has posted on her Instagram. Mahogany has posted on her Instagram child, an artificial intelligence uh, greeted note, letter, script, verse. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, some type of paperwork. She didn't let the AI people uh, pull up for her and post it on her Instagram to say that. Uh, Paul Kettle over there, also known as uh, what's the man? Je what's his name? Jason? Just Justin? Justin? Uh, child. Uh, 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 she said he was creeping in the next room. Okay, child. She said he was down there, down by the water. Child. She said he was creeping with uh, you know, some of the people they use to do their creative content over there. I said, well, 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 okay. So, um, hey, Ruth. Hey, LaToy. Hey, Sasa. Hey, Sheikha, Sean, Monique. Welcome, everybody. True, Michelle, Vaughn, Tina. Y'all, welcome to the break room. Tim, I didn't mean to bother y'all. Y'all probably was getting ready to go to bed, huh? Well, don't worry about it, okay? Y'all can stay up for a few minutes. What's up, Miss TLD, Ebony, Audra? Uh, our new forever Tina perfume, Lisa G, Black and Bougie, our family our journey manifest buttons, Monique Miss, okay, C, Bria, Lady T, Anna, Wicked Ways, Heather J. Anna says, Sis, is it true? Child, I don't know. Okay, let's be honest. Half the stuff that come on this internet, we don't know what it's for. Y'all gotta always remember these people, these content creators. They have told us many, many times that, that, that this is for entertainment purposes only, right? Now, some of y'all might ask, well, since a, uh, somebody, you know, getting a divorce, especially when children are involved, yes, yeah, since there's nothing entertaining about that. Well, yeah, I know that, and you know that, but these folks who live on the internet, yeah, they don't know that, okay? So let's go ahead and get into... Um, Let's go ahead and get into, you said the past, the secrets are coming out of 2024, okay? I'm a, you said, I'm up making a cake for work tomorrow. Well, uh, sis, make sure you uh, send us a slice, okay? So apparently, um, 
Mahogany has put up a, a letter describing the reasons for their irreconcilable differences. So, y'all, we, we, we are getting ready to go venture over to Instagram, okay? And we're going to get on Mahogany's uh, Instagram, and we're going to read her uh, post that she had for, you know, the, the internet community. So she said, um, after eight years of marriage, I am getting a divorce. I said, sis, is this the subject? Huh? No, hey, y'all, what, what y'all doing? Just after eight years of marriage, I'm getting a divorce. Huh? She said, since the onset of November 2023, the onset. Oh, that's a fancy way of saying since 2023, he's been cheating in the next room. My husband has been involved in an affair with a fellow participant from his comedic endeavors. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Let's read that again, y'all, because, you know, Tim, I... Since the onset of 2023, my husband has been involved in an affair with a fellow participant from his comedic endeavors. I thought your husband was a pastor over there. So, when is he a comedian? Has anybody ever seen Justin being comedic? I know he tried, but does he succeed? Well, isn't y'all comedic endeavors together? So wouldn't this be somebody from your, both of y'all's comedic endeavors? Because don't y'all got a channel together? Okay, anyway, this is not an isolated instance, incidents, okay? but rather a reoccur recurring pattern of behavior. Oh, hold up, sis. You mean to tell me he been cheating since cheating been cheating? What? Well, when does he find time to cheat? Shit, you pregnant every uh, day, damn six months you're pregnant. When does he get time to cheat? Huh. Despite the gravity of this situation, now... Listen to the words that Mahogany, I'm just going to assume, thought of to write, right? We've listened to Mahogany in many videos. Half the time, Mahogany can't even find the words to use in a video. But now, all of a sudden, you, you, uh, Encyclopedia Brown on this, uh, note that you wrote for us. It was the final incident that compelled me to take this decisive action. Hmm. Over the span of our decade-long journey together. Y'all been together 10 years? Oh. Girl, how did you handle that? Anyway, I have been subjected to various forms of disheartening behavior. And throughout this ordeal, I maintained my silence and remanded steadfast in my <laughs> Steadfast <laughs> in my loyalty to my husband. I mean, mahogany at this point. Shit, who else you gonna be loyal to? You don't want to keep popping out the babies for the his tail, all in an attempt to shield his public image from the taint of such scandal. So, girl, what you got? You got you a Jamal? What's what's it? Uh... Oh my goodness, what is the man? Um. Giselle Bryant, Jamal Bryant, what you got for a Jamal Bryant situation over there? Huh. Hmm. In spite of my husband's failings, my affection for him remained unshakable. I conceived a family with him. Yeah, you did, girl. A big one, too. Um, nurturing the hope that, that he would evolve into the man his persuasive words suggested, but his actions contradict uh, mahogany. You did not write this girl. Hell, half the time, Justin got to finish your sentences. Oh, Lord. As profoundly painful as this experience is, girl, it's painful reading this. I am confident that that better days lie ahead for me. Well, yeah, yeah, it is. I have devoted these past years to upholding my commitment to my husband, expressing my love for him, and fostering our family. 
Regardless, because I don't, yeah, because sis, them kids do act like they in a foster family. I, I know the word fostering what you've been child. Them, them kids act like they don't even belong there. Regardless of any slanderous accusations he may seek to level against me. What? Wait, hold on. How you going to be cheating and you always big belly over there? My devotion to my husband throughout our marital journey has been unequivocal and waver and unwavering. Oh my God. When the time is right, I will share more about my personal journey. Girl, you didn't share it enough right here to our amazing audience who has accompanied Justin and I over the years. We will endeavor to, we will, we will endeavor to share our co-parenting journey with you across all our shared platforms and channels. I'm deeply grateful for our prayers and for the consent consistent support that you have extended to my family and I. As I turn the page on this chapter, I am stepping into a new era of freedom and liberation. But girl, you, how much freedom are you going to have? Because I guarantee you them kids going to be living with you. With heartfelt gratitude, mahogany. I said, uh, <laughs> What is going on over there, honey? Like for real? He's a whole woman over there. Blah blah. Now she didn't say if the uh, the comedic endeavor, the comedic person that he in his comedic endeavors, she didn't say if the person was a man or a woman. Okay. Justin is nothing but a narcissist and seems like he is controlling and manipulating. I hope she does leave him. I just don't feel Justin likes women. Sis, you know what? I'm going to tell you something. Do I feel like this is true? I don't. However, if it is, child, I don't see him cheating with another woman. Yeah, I just don't see that. I really don't. I I just don't see him cheating with another woman. Y'all, I'm just going What exudes sexiness about Justin? He act more feminine than mahogany half the time. I just... I, I don't get it. I, I really don't take any of this serious, y'all. That's why I'm not speaking on it as a serious matter. Now, what y'all also have to understand is that the Jacksons of Atlanta are very close to hitting 1 million subscribers on YouTube. Now, when we first got into their channel, about, what was that, about two years ago when... Um, she was supposed to have the third set of triplets, but she ended up having a singleton pregnancy. They were at 100,000 then. So in like two years, they have grossed 600,000 plus subscribers on their main channel. I seriously doubt Justin is greedy, money hungry as, as he is, and Mahogany as um, she is a steward of anything Justin has her to do for the sake of social media. I seriously doubt that either of them are going to walk away from this. Like, how do you manage a channel of this size and y'all are divorced? Like, think about it, y'all. Sometimes you just got to really think. You can't believe everything everybody says. I feel like they're coming up with this whole divorce scandal to get them closer to this 1 million subscribers. Because Justin probably told Mahogany at the end of 2023, if we put our two bean heads together, we can probably, possibly hit a million by the end of 2024. Okay? Um, You said, I think they will fake a divorce and then act like they're working it out. Um, Have you seen the woman they doing videos with? No, I haven't. Um, I have not seen the woman. Capricorn Camille, what would she look like? I, I okay, so just to be honest with you guys, I've stopped watching the Jacksons of Atlanta long ago. Um, they they disgust me. I, I don't like watching their channel. They're so fake. I hate the way they treat their kids. 
Um, those kids look like they're in prison over there. I, I just, it, there's no love from her or Justin as parents to six damn boys. It's weird. Though they take the kids no damn where. The kids don't even go outside and play. Um, anytime we see those kids, it's they're treating them like puppets. Say this, say that, say this, say that. It's just weird. Um, you said I do believe the story is fake. Yeah, I definitely do. And you know what? They would you would think over time people that these content creators would understand. As many people we watch across the social media platform, you would think by now they would have figured it out that we're not as dumb as they think we are. You know, uh, again, if they're getting a divorce, I mean, you know, hopefully the kids are not severely su affected by that. But can y'all imagine Mahogany all by herself with them six damn boys? Can y'all imagine that? She can't even drive anywhere by herself unless Justin is in a car with her. Can you imagine that lady going all by herself anywhere without Justin? Justin takes her to her hair appointments and she about to divorce him and do it on my own. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Um, you said, don't know why CPS ain't go to their house yet because um, they don't really exude ratchetness. Um, Mahogany's not putting another man over her kids. So that's why haven't made it to the house. Trust me, if Mahogany exude um, any type of ratchetness, and she was putting a man, or she, she was putting Justin over her kids, you know, like, yeah, they they would definitely be knocking on the door. Um, having the babies ain't doing it anymore, so they need something to get more views. I mean, my goodness. Yeah, because this last baby they had, yeah, the people really wasn't coming like that. You know, I mean, same with Star Mommy Chrissy. Like, the, you know, I mean, you got so many kids, people are not, they'll say, hey, congratulations, you know, and just keep it pushing. Even with Olivia over there, if she get pregnant again, child, ain't nobody running over there. They, girl, this would be number six for you. We're not impressed. Like, okay, girl, good luck. And that's it. Um, So I, I don't know, you guys. Like I said, um, their channel has been kind of dormant. Um, they haven't put up a video on the Jacksons of Atlanta main page for about six days. And I guarantee you it's killing Justin softly that he's not putting up content. Oh my God. It's killing him. Cause that man is a manic for the money, right? He's, he's, he's very numbers driven. And the fact that they haven't put up a video on their main channel in six days just makes me feel like Justin's probably telling mahogany, you putting out that divorce letter and whatever comes after that will basically make up for the fact that we haven't put up content on the main channel in six days. Oh, trust and believe Justin has this all figured out. Now, whoever apparently in their, in his comedic endeavors, like that was so that letter definitely was not written by her. Now I would think by this time they have some type of management company that they're working with. Maybe, maybe somebody, uh, you know, under their management has telling them to devise this script um, to, you know, to help drive content or excuse me, views to their channel. Cause again, you guys, I just personally feel like they're almost at a million. They're what? 300,000 away. They could definitely hit 300,000 in a year when they hit 600,000 in two years. So I really feel like, Justin probably devised this plan that they're, you know, going to play this out as long as they can. Okay. Yeah. The divorce letter. Okay. Um, what did black and bougie say? Miss TLD, like he smells like white diamonds and shea moisture. <laughs> uh, man, if we don't had this many kids together, we finna thug it out. Uh, okay. F you mean. Exactly, baby. We gonna be together forever, ever, forever, ever. Six staggered kids all under the age of what? Five? Oh, brother, you ain't going nowhere. And if you do, you taking me and these kids with you. You going to cheat? Oh, okay. Well, we'll be in the car waiting on you. Me and these six kids. And they just had a baby not even, what, with the baby, what, less than a year old? Oh, you kidding me, honey. You cheating? Well, I'm cheating with you. We cheating together, okay? Together. We menage a twine it all up and down the street. For real, for real. Hey, Pearl. Um, so, I, like I said, you guys, I don't believe a look at this. 
And if for, so, for, for some of you guys that may think there's some validity in this, baby, I, God help you. Because <laughs> there's, trust me, these people are far from getting a divorce. Um, Justin basically brought Mahogany out of darkness. From my understanding, a couple years ago, a lot of stuff was coming out about them. They said prior to Mahogany meeting Justin, she was on allegedly, allegedly on drugs. And he that's how they met in the church because he was pastoring and, and she was at the church. And that's how they kind of met. And he kind of, you know, helped her out of out of that situation. And, you know, it, it, it's just a, it's. I don't I don't believe this. Not not saying that people don't grow up out of each other, not saying that people don't fall out of love with each other. That definitely does happen every day. Um, you said when you cheat, I cheat, we cheat together. Okay, Ashley. But I don't believe the story, not for one millisecond. And I definitely do not believe Mahogany wrote that divorce letter. Okay. She can't even complete a clear sentence when her and Justin are on camera together talking. Justin always has to finish her thoughts for her. So I, yeah, no, there's no way she wrote that letter. I definitely know that. For, for now, if I don't know anything else, I know she is not the author of that letter. Okay. Um, so let me see. If you cheat, we gonna make her a sister wife so he can help so she can help out around here. Exactly, honey. She would be, well, we would have a welcome to the family party. Uh, with the kids will call her auntie. Okay. Uh, baby, because you're not leaving me with six kids under the age of five. <laughs> the F you mean, sir? Uh -uh. It's not happening. Um, Let me see. Or if it's a he. If it's a he he cheating with, allegedly, then uh, we're going to introduce him as uncle to the kids, okay? It don't matter. She or he, whichever one it is. Uh, we definitely going to be a family. Um, they're all about money abuse. Yeah, that is true, sis. That definitely is true. So I don't know, you guys. Um, she said, she, she better go in the basement and act like we broke up. Buh, buh, okay. I, I don't know, y'all. At this point, I don't believe anything these people say. We have seen so much foolery on this internet. Like, at the end of the day, nobody has Jasmine B, okay? Jasmine coming on here January the 2nd, asking people to pay her rent. Thus far in this community of content that we talk about, nobody has had her beat yet, okay? Because that was epic on January the 2nd. The Jacksons of Atlanta, mm-mm, mm-mm. We're not convinced. Okay. Um, you said Tasha, when you get a chance, Jazz explains us how she isn't messing with anyone else in her latest vlog. Still sad about Chris and using legend to try to get his attention. Oh, she not messing with anybody else. Well, that's because nobody messing with her. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll we'll catch Jazz tomorrow because we yeah, we need to get caught up with her. We'll catch her tomorrow. So what y'all think? Do y'all think it's real? If you guys think this is legit, put a one in the chat. If y'all think this is a uh, caca, put a two in the chat, okay? January has been full of caca, okay? It definitely has, Miss TLD. I don't believe in not one iota, okay? Not one iota. Child, when she said in the letter, what did she say in this letter again? Over the span of our decade-long journey together, I have been subjected to various forms of disheartening behavior. And while you've been subjected to that behavior, since you kept pumping the babies out for the man, okay? And throughout this ordeal, I maintain my silence and remain steadfast in my loyalty to my husband, all in an attempt to shield his public image from the taint of such scandals. What public image? Girl, the man has you laying on an air mattress, Mahogany. I don't know if they still got the air mattress over there, but right after she had the baby that was supposed to be a third set of twin but ended up being a singleton pregnancy child in that house that they never finished furnishing, they had all those plans for that house. And, baby, that house looked like it did when they first moved into it two years ago. Child, when they first moved into that house, uh, uh, Justin had them laying on a damn air mattress over there, okay? Um, what? Oh no, is she? Did you see just Jazzy's daughter is pregnant? Who the, the runaway girl? Oh Lord, oh no, I didn't know that. So, Michaela is pregnant. 
oh lord i'm gonna have to get over there and see what's going on but you know what break you guys for all you guys who came in for jackson's of atlanta we you're in shift gears for men for just jazzy didn't i tell you guys that didn't i say that the last time we reacted to just jazzy didn't i tell y'all that little girl was gonna be pregnant I, t I knew she was gonna get pregnant i knew it not obviously hoping and praying that she would but i just i mean obviously if you running away laying up with a little boy i mean that's what's gonna happen um, you said it's not confirmed yet. Hmm. Okay. She says she thinks it's pregnancy or drug. <laughs> okay. Oh, say you said allegedly. Oh, okay. So it's allegedly. Hmm. All right. Well, either way, if she keeps going over there and well, the girl runs away. I, someone told me the other day that the little girl, Michaela and the boy got to fighting at school. And then the little girl end up, I guess they end up making up and the little girl went back home with the boy or something like that. I don't know, y'all. Just Jazzy, I kind of tuned out of that situation because I just really feel like if the police is not going to get involved and make that little girl come home, Just Jazzy getting on here, giving us updates that are, aren't really updating, I just kind of lost interest in it. Um, I just really kind of lost interest in it. I mean, y'all, at the end of the day, this is what these people do for a living. They get up here and they have conversations and talk about things that allegedly is going on in their life. This is how they make their money. Um, although us over here in the break room, damn, they're smarter than that to believe everything people say. Now, there are some things that people will tell you and you might be like, oh, my God, would you really say that? And yes, they would. But it's a lot of stuff that these people put on the Internet. I don't believe. OK, I don't know what I would do. Yeah, I don't know. I would I would I would do either if my 13 year old little girl kept running away and I couldn't convince her to stay home. I don't know what I would do. I never had that situation. Unfortunately, I know there are a lot of people out here who is or have had that situation. And that's a lot to deal with. I don't know if I would be going through it on social media, but you know, it is what it is. She said the boy's house is a, a crack house. Yeah. Well, I definitely feel like the mother of the little boy definitely can't be a responsible parent because a responsible parent would not have somebody else's child living at their house. And there's no documented reason why the little girl, whatever the little girl is saying about just Jazzy, there's nothing documented to prove what she's saying. So me as the mother of that boy, that Michaela would not be at my house. I would not have her in my custody. Because if something happens and she does not have permission for that girl to be there, she's going to be in a world of trouble. So, hey, Sam, Sam. Um, you said, Tina said, laying up in a crack house is crazy. I mean, they would have to lock me up for getting my damn child. But the, the problem is the girl keeps running away. That's the problem. You know what's so funny? Throughout this whole ordeal, you've never heard anything about the little girl's dad. Does he not have anything to say about his daughter laying up with some little boy? Like, he he has nothing to say? Like, how come he hasn't showed up? Like, Just Jazzy keeps doing video after video after video after video about what she's going through. What's the... Because at one time, Michaela was living with her dad. I know that she was wilding out down there and the dad sent her back, but I just don't understand why the dad is not re-involved, okay? Because that's still his daughter. You said Jazzy lying about something because police keep leaving her there. I, I don't understand why the police is allowing a runaway to stay at a house that she's not supposed to be at. Now, I don't understand that. Like I understand New York has a lot of crime going on, uh, but this 13-year-old girl being a runaway, which can potentially become a bigger problem, possibly even a crime, an unfortunate crime, um, I don't understand why the police is allowing the little girl to stay there. I mean, if anything, you would take the little girl and put her in juvenile. If you know that she's not going to stay at home with her mom, then you would put her in juvenile and let the judge figure out what to do with the little girl. The fact that the police will not go over there and get that little girl baffles the hell out of me. And it just makes me really feel like just Jazzy's not telling 100% the truth. I just don't feel like it. Um, You said Jazz, Jazzy full of ish at Penn's position would get Michaela in line or she would go to the group home. Exactly. Exactly, Southside. I, I just don't believe it. I really don't. Um, he used to allow her to use, and the police don't let her stay there. They bring her home, and she runs away again in a couple of days. But that's the thing, Deese. 
why keep bringing her home? If it's documented when the police bring her home that she runs away again because Jess Jaxley calls the police and reports her as a runaway again. So the next time you go and get her, why not take her to juvenile? I, I don't understand why they keep taking her back to the mama's house. Um, the police take her to the house every time. Right, exactly. You said they do not leave her there. When they bring her back home, she leaves again. Um, they, they divisions detected to runways in NYC. Jazzy needs a pants petition. Jazz doing something shady. You think so? I don't know. Like at the end of the day, all this sounds shady to me. It really does. Um, I, you know, I had a girlfriend, um, her daughter was running away at the time. I think the little girl was 15 and her daughter was running away. And when the police found her, they took her to uh, what do you call it? Juvenile. They took her to juvenile. They didn't take her home. They took her straight to juvenile. And then the mom had to come get her from juvenile. Um, the police and ADS are not doing their job. Jasmine doesn't understand why they keep bringing her home either. I thought habitual runaways are placed in juvenile detention. That's what I thought too, but maybe in, maybe it's a lot different in, in other states. I don't know. Um, in the video she posted yesterday, Jazzy was in the police car with, without Michaela. Hmm. Yeah, something just does not seem right. And it hasn't seemed right with that story since the conception of her telling us the little girl ran away. Like in my spirit, just I think that's why I got uninterested. Just like I'm not interested in the Jacksons of Atlanta whole, we get a divorce story. Um I'm not interested in the just jazzy story because something doesn't seem truthful. It just I don't know how the system is continuously failing her when she claims all these people are involved. Now, I do understand the system can fail people, but the fact that she says she got a DCS worker and she got this worker, the school's aware, you know, you, you, I would assume you would have the school social worker and all these people. At one time, Michaela was even in therapy. Um, you could definitely get, you know, reports from the therapist that Michaela was seeing. The fact that you got all these people involved and everybody keeps failing her so she can continue to have a YouTube video to put up every day. It just doesn't seem logical to me, right? And again, people support Just Jazzy and they get into her story, but I just couldn't keep continuing to watch it because it was making me mad because I just feel like she's not being 100% truthful. Um, she'd be placed on probation if she didn't follow the rules after that. She'd be put out in a group home or juvenile detention. Exactly. The fact that that girl has not been put into juvenile detention when she clearly is doing something that she's not supposed to do. Um, don't they have curfews in, in the state of New York um, for children under a certain age? The fact that she keeps running away and that's obviously unlawful, right? The fact that that keeps happening and the police go get her and they just take her back home and go back in, into their police car and drive into the sunset and then the next morning the girl leaves out again. Like The fact that that keeps happening and when the police picks her up, they never take that girl to juvenile, baffles to have. And then whatever happened to the story, remember, do you guys remember when Just Jazz first told the story? The second story she told that apparently the police told her to be quiet. Remember, the police put a gag order on her because she said that Michaela had did something really, really bad. If you guys notice, we heard no more about that. So what is it that the police put you a put a gag order on you for that Michaela did so bad and the police told you not to talk about it? But yet you haven't mentioned it anymore. Obviously, she can't be in tune. The police get their hands on her. They release her to you. So, I I, she, I mean, has she did any updates on that part of the story? Because she never said what the little girl did. Um, Southside said they went to NJ, New Jersey when she, she when she could have just went to Brooklyn Family Court and filed paperwork to get the juvenile court system to assist her. She's not being proactive. Yeah, she she's definitely dropping the ball somewhere. Okay. She, she, she never has updated positive positively bus. Okay, because I haven't been watching. Um, she, she needs to be on house arrest. I mean, do they put juvenile? Uh, yeah, I, I would assume they put juveniles on house arrest, right? Uh, at, this, at this point, she needs something. Like the fact that, that girl keeps running away and 
And the fact that she goes to school, goes to school all day, leaves school and go to the little boy's house. Like, imagine that. Imagine you sitting at home waiting for all your kids to come home and all, all three of them come home. All three of them come home, but one of them does it. And you know, in your mind, you know for sure that she's over to her boyfriend's house and this little girl is 13 years old. And the fact that just Jazzy sits there and let that happen Monday through Friday. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand it. People been saying Jasmine doesn't have custody of her. I don't, I don't know. Oh, okay. I've been watching it. She has not updated about what it is that she did. That was so bad. Yeah, Ray, she, I mean, she dropped that on the audience and never picked it back up. Like how you drop that type of information on the audience and then never pick it back up. He said house arrest is not going to stop a runaway. Um, I, yeah, I don't know, you guys. Like I said, I've never had that problem. Thank God. My kids are grown now, so I wouldn't have that problem. Um, how would how would you going to stop her? How would you going to stop her? I, I don't understand what you're saying, Ladybug. You said I'm 100% sure NYPD told her this. You think so? Okay. She's humiliating Michaela online for the world to see. Michaela didn't sign up for YouTube. I mean, let's be honest. None of her children signed up for YouTube. And the fact that all the other the other three children have to be subjected to the Michaela's behavior. And to me, Jazz is more focused on the next YouTube video other than how this could be emotionally affecting the kids that are at home minding their mother and staying put she's more concerned with the next youtube video like i don't get it like these moms i i, I don't get it so i mean again i understand but everybody paint parents differently I, I get all that but it it just don't make sense to me it just doesn't make logical sense you said, I feel like, I feel that she puts a lot of this out here for clicks, likes, and views. She is way too transparent. Um, and then she says that she's being this transparent in hopes to help somebody else. But you're not even getting help with your situation with Michaela. So how is you being transparent helping anybody? The only person that's helping is you, sis, because they put money in your pocket. I mean, it's an entertainment for the for the people for the if you want to be entertained by a 13-year-old running away, you know. But at the end of the day, how is you being transparent and real with the people helping anybody listening to your story? If there's if she has an audience of women who and some of those women are having issues with their minor child running away, how is watching just Jazzy video gonna help you to prevent or to prevent or keep your child from running away? Yeah, nothing she says does that. But let's be honest, y'all. These people really don't have a responsibility to the people to be responsible. You know, they didn't sign a contract saying, I promise I won't say anything that could lead somebody astray. They didn't do that. Um, they're not educated, trained professionals. I don't know why they think their raggedy lives and trauma helps anyone. These people are nuts, and they think they're way more than than they are. Yeah, um, th this this whole social media thing has gotten really out of hand and really crazy. And you know, for the people like the Jacksons of Atlanta, just Jazzy, Jazzy Life, Live, Crit, all these people, yeah, I don't even know what to say half the time anymore. Um, yeah, anyone going through this won't answers. They don't want to just see you go through them too. Give the people something they can that can help. Exactly. But she doesn't know how to help the people because that's not her mindset. Her mindset is not to help anybody. Her mindset is to get people engaged in her story and then drop. Um, I could do a one-on-one -on -one for you. You know, the fact that she's promoting one-on-ones and you got a crisis on your hand. Again, I understand you got to make money, but you're doing that by putting out the video. The fact that you're adding extra work to you, well, you got a lot of work right there with that little girl to keep running away from your home and potentially or possibly could get pregnant. You know, it's no telling what Michaela is over there doing. It's very sad. It's a very sad situation for that little girl to think the only thing she can do is run away. It's sad that that little girl doesn't want to be at home with her mother and her siblings. I think that's very, very sad. 
The Brock has deep, dark secrets and pretend it's to help others. The lies, it's for assets, period. Well, yeah, that's obvious, Southside. That definitely is. She said she's documented it for proof. Girls, proof my ass, Latoy. She's not documenting nothing for proof. The only thing she's documenting, documenting for is Google AdSense. And, you know, okay, girl. You said, I just pray that this ends without anyone getting hurt or worse. Yeah, I do. I pray it doesn't end that way. I hope she can get control of her daughter. Um, I hope the other two don't get any bright ideas. Ja just Jazzy, the other two daughters don't get any bright ideas. Like at this point, it's all for a check. She could have made the whole vlog about Faith's birthday. <laughs> exactly, girl. All right, Tasha, that's why I think it's more going on. Yeah, um, you know, at the end of the day, y'all, a lot of these people on the internet, that do all this stuff are just weird, you know? And one thing we, unfortunately, we can't help, we can't help to live amongst weird people. And I definitely feel just Jazzy's a weirdo, just like Peach. Y'all remember Peach McIntyre? Y'all, we didn't turn this into a whole different conversation. Y'all remember how we used to talk about Peach McIntyre? Did you guys notice nobody talks about her anymore? Do y'all notice that? Nobody talks about Peach McIntyre anymore. Like I used to always see reaction videos come up in my timeline about something Peach McIntyre has either said or done. When I tell you I haven't seen a reaction video about this lady and God knows forever. And you know, it's just funny because Peach used to have all that hype a couple years ago. She had all that hype, all that traffic, all that drama. And it, what end up happening? The drama played out. It just played out for her. Um, even if she tried to go pull up some more drama on her, I hate my husband, me, uh, you know, or uh, these seven kids getting on my nerves. Like Peach has drugged that in the ground so much, her audience is not interested anymore. They're just not interested. Because people tired of her, but it's one reactor that still reacts on her. Oh, really? Yeah, I haven't seen a one. I used to see them all the time, but I haven't seen one. I just feel she needs to get offline and focus on being a parent. I definitely feel that, too. And I'm not saying that just Jazzy needs to get offline, but she needs to center the conversation more around other things than the update on Michaela every day. Like, if anything, give us, like, a once-a-week video of the – Either, you know, the progression of the situation, be it good or bad. Like, maybe give it to us once a week, but literally every day putting those videos up. And it almost feels like she's talking to Michaela through these videos. And just imagine that. Imagine you can't even have a conversation with your own child face-to-face. -face, that you got to talk to her through social media. Like, that's sad. People are getting tired of foolishness. They were, were, were. Wore us out. I'm sorry. We don't care. Life is stressful enough to watch them. Yes, it is. So I don't know, you guys. I just, like I said, I, um, she said she looks like a Michaela as a check. Well, now since Michaela is having behavior issues, obviously she's using, and then here's the thing. Michaela's always had behavior issues. I guess it's just gotten worse now because the little girl's getting older, but just Jazzy has expressed that Michaela's always been I hate to say it like this, but her problem child, you know, that's the reason why Michaela went to live with the dad. And Michaela at one time was living with just Jazzy brother. And then she was living with the sister. And, you know, the little girl has always been living with somebody else. And then maybe that's what happens. Instead of you pawning the girl off to whoever's available, you should have just handled your situation that you created. Me personally, other than giving her to the dad, I wouldn't have been handing her off to other people in the family. Because let's be honest, that's your child. That's your problem. You got to deal with it. Exactly. So I said, I agree. She said the boy and Michaela respond to the com respond to the comments. Yeah, I don't believe that. I really don't. I don't believe that. If anything, Michaela and that little boy is playing video games. They not studying her videos. Okay. Uh, I would have had to set her straight from jump. Yeah, definitely. She, ain't, but see, that's a, that's the thing. It's all about how you raise the child, you know. Because the fact that out of her four kids, this is the one that's giving you the most problems, you know. I just, you know, there you go with that whole gentle parenting thing. Like sometimes you can't be gentle with the type of child that doesn't is not receptive to that type of parenting. Okay, that's just my opinion. Exactly, team. Are so many want kids but don't want to be parents for real. Um, she ain't seen nothing yet. She thinks she having issues with her now. She better watch out. 
Yeah, that's true. It's sad she was chasing Michaela down the street. Yeah, I, you know, and then that's the thing. And then you get on the internet and tell people that. Like some stuff really people don't need to know about what you got going on. It, it sometimes it just it's too deep. And you know, a lot of times, you know, it used to be for me when I would come to the internet. I would have fun with the content, watching the people and giggling about the type of stuff. Now, y'all, it's damn near depressing to come watch these ladies. Like, the older these ladies have gotten, and then here's the thing, social media, social media, social media, but nobody's thinking about when social media is no longer or you're too, let me say this, you you become dried up and you're not getting abused. Like, then what's your next plan? Because I guarantee you, none of these ladies are preparing for the future. Like nobody is furthering their education. So in the event, um, cause you, you find a lot of these social media content creators have, have went back to work. A lot of them have went back to a nine to five. A lot of them have went and furthered their careers. I mean, look at a, uh, what's the girl name? Keisha Anderson, Keisha Anderson. Oh, Keisha Kaylee. She's one. Keisha was, you know, social media, this social media, that. And then what, about a year or two ago, she went and got her uh, real estate license. And I don't know if she's, I would think she's still actively doing, I don't know. I don't watch Keisha Kaylee like that, but you know, I've just used her as an example. She came off the top of my head. Like she went and got her real estate license. Like she knew, especially being a mom of three children and possibly could have another one. Um, Cause she's young enough to still have more children that she got to keep things going. Like you just can't put all your eggs in one basket. And a lot of these women have literally put all their eggs in one basket Jazzy's too stuck up um, Kaisha's ass. Well, I, I'm trust me. Will something better come along better than just Jazzy? Kaisha gonna leave just Jazzy just like she found her. Depressed and, and lonely, okay? If I was just Jazzy, just like Kaisha is building herself up, building her career and educating herself and doing things to better herself for further down on life, just Jazzy needs to be doing the same thing. And she's not. So when Kaisha meets somebody that is emotion, more emotionally intelligent than just Jazzy, because you could tell Kaisha's she's very emotionally intelligent. When she finds somebody that's more emotionally intelligent and attractive than just Jazzy, she gonna leave just Jazzy sitting right on in the wind. Um, you said Kaisha also do credit repair. Oh, Keisha, Keisha does credit repair. Okay, yeah, she does. Okay, I remember that she did talk about some credit repair. I would be so embarrassed if my mom put all our personal pieces on YouTube. Blah, blah. Okay, just a whole entire mess, honey. Um, just like me, you guys. Like I said, I've told you guys for the longest. Like these reactions, they can only go as long as y'all want to watch them. When y'all don't want to watch them anymore, then what, you know what I'm saying? What am I going to do? You know, so obviously I'm not just sitting around waiting on the people to drop off the channel. TMR has is moving on. You know, I'm doing other things, you guys. I'm just doing other things. You just have to. It's called life. You just got to keep evolving. Um, you said Keisha Kaylee is one of those Atlanta scammers, not Atlanta scammers. Okay. Well, honey, she'd be comparable to her ding gone baby daddy Jeremy over there. I was getting ready to ask, is her and Jeremy still together? But child, why would I ask that? <laughs> we know the answer to that. Keisha ain't never leaving that. Girl, anytime your man go have a whole baby on you, not only, and then once you find out he had a baby, then you find out that you thought you got him away from that girl, but then you find out he was still going over there backdooring you and, and still sleeping with the baby mama and the baby was already here. Bye -bye. And you still call that man your man. Oh yeah, you're not going anywhere, sis. Keisha over there for life, honey. She over there for life. Keisha Kaylee ain't, is not going anywhere. And a lot of these moms are wasting their opportunities. And it's sad. But that's because, you guys, these pe people are programmed. I'm telling y'all, it was bad before the pandemic. But when the pandemic hit, y'all, and we were sitting in the house for them a couple years, a lot of people just gave up hope. They just gave up hope. And they just felt like they, they don't, either they don't want to do anything or they can't do anything with their life. You know, the fact that these women get on the internet every day and put out all their personal business and none of these chicks got passports, just Jazzy. Well, let me take it back. I don't I don't know if just Jazzy has a passport. I'm pretty sure Kaisha has one. So if Kaisha has a passport, just Jazzy more than likely has one too. But we know for sure, uh, 
Jazzy Life doesn't have one. We know Liv's Life doesn't have one. I'm pretty sure uh, Chrissy doesn't have one. Uh, uh, child, we know Sky's Life don't have a passport. Child, she didn't even have $32 for the water bill over there. Uh, wine glass. Like, the fact that these ladies up here putting out all their business and y'all don't even have things, something as simple as a damn passport. You know, something that you can, especially if you're making money and you're saving your money and you're doing right by your money. I mean, obviously reward yourself and your family with a nice trip. Child, you know, just uh, Jasmine, Jasmine sat over there all last year, baby, and didn't leave the city of Austin. That girl sat over there all 2023 and didn't leave the city of Austin. I guarantee you she going to do the same thing 2024. She going to the whole year and that girl's not going to go nowhere. Okay. Exactly, TMI. And it seems they like to they like get harder and more exposure they get they get off online. Yeah, that's true. It's Cosway sponsored pass, but they have 10 of them. <laughs> Cosway sponsored <laughs> Oh, Sky's life has invited y'all to lunch. Blah, blah. I believe Keisha stayed because she had something to prove to Ashley. Well, that wouldn't have been it, honey. I mean, at the end of the day, Jeremy is definitely wasn't the prize. If Keisha had any sense, she would realize she was the prize. She the one that got Jeremy where he is today. Keisha did that. Her money, her social media influence to make more money. Is the reason why Jeremy's where he's at today, not because of Jeremy. Keisha is the reason, in my opinion. That's my opinion. Jasmine might take a trip with those taxes this year. She got a stunt for Chris. Girl, that girl's not going nowhere. Okay. Jasmine is not programmed and prone to go anywhere but to HEB and back to the house. Okay. Jasmine's not going anywhere. And I'm not even requiring for her to go somewhere that needs a passport. Sis, I just want you to leave Texas State lab. She's not even going to do that. That girl's not going to go anywhere. If it not, if Phillips don't take those kids somewhere, they go nowhere. They, um, they say the tax ain't hitting like it did last year. Oh, really? Mm. Uh, you said, dang, I tried. <laughs> Our family. I don't know how they sit up in the house every day, all day. I have to have a chance of scenery, a change of scenery every couple months. Okay. Hey, with love, how are you? You said, um, Sammy J said, but they have the nerve to think people are jealous of them. Girl, they don't even think that anymore. Trust me. If you notice, Sammy J, have you noticed you don't hear that come out their mouth? Now, four or five years ago, they used to say, they're just jealous. They're just jealous. But if you notice five years later, yeah, you don't hear that come out of, you, you know, that was a favorite line for a living. You guys are just haters. You guys are just haters. You remember? That was the famous line for Liv's life. If you notice, Sis A said nothing about hating about her life in a couple of years. Child, they know nobody's jealous of them, okay? Half of y'all living better than them, okay? You notice how all their men act like the, act the same way. The men use them and they just play the fool. It never fails. Exactly. I'm jealous I don't have a 07. Well, well, Nina said, well, girl, I'm jealous, okay? You said jazz not going no further than the Sam's Club, girl. Um, all right, y'all. That's my time, honey. Child, we didn't got on here for Jackson's of Atlanta. And baby, we didn't turn it out, but that's okay. I like when y'all do that because you guys, this is a conversation. This is the break room. So typically we're not just going to talk about one thing, but I'm going to leave the thumbnail like it is, you know, and people will be pleasantly surprised to hear there's more conversations than just about the Jacksons of Atlanta. But I do appreciate all of you guys' um, comments and your opinions about what's going on, about the people that we've been watching and pray, prayfully, you know, everybody get it together. Um, as far as the Jacksons of Atlanta, uh, you know, mom, pa, kettle over there. Uh, uh, I don't believe it. Not one millisecond. Okay. I don't believe it. Now, if I put it to you like this, if these two are getting divorced, me and Justin getting married tomorrow. Okay. All right, y'all. That's my time. I'm gone. I'm out of here, honey. Y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Y'all be good and y'all be great. And TMR is definitely going to see y'all in the next one, honey. Remember, so what you love. Bye.